Hey guys, what's up? So, um, Mark Twain in his autobiography, he has a whole essay called Is Shakespeare Dead? Um, so this is probably one of the most popular pop culture references to Baconianism um, that we have. And the text is about um, 100 pages or about three hours to read. I'll put the audiobook in the description too. Um, so yeah, he just goes through all the stuff we've gone through. Logically, Will Shakespeare didn't do anything, and Francis Bacon is basically the only one qualified. He goes into others, but of course, he's more of a Francis Bacon person than um, the Oxfordians or the other people. Um, so if we look in his um, unreleased one, he also mention, mentions Nietzsche. He says, I have not read Nietzsche uh, because uh, someone in a letter recommended it to him. But he, he's, the kind of set, he's, he's the kind of person who says, I've not read Nietzsche or Ibsen, nor any other philosopher, and have not needed to do it, and have not desired to do it. You know, every man is his own person, the whole human race. I am the whole human race without a detail lacking. Yeah, we all know that. But bro, you should have read Nietzsche. And that's fine. But in the footnotes, <clears throat> someone actually clarified that says, um, he did look over Nietzsche's Thus Spake Zarathustra, and then reportedly exclaimed, Oh, damn Nietzsche, he couldn't write a lucid sentence to save his soul, which is hilarious because Zarathustra is poetry, you know. I think he should have read Beyond Good and Evil or something a little simpler. Um, but yeah, this is also part of his um, Shakespeare Bacon beliefs. This is in his um, notes. And he, he even has Ignatius Donnelly's book that he said he published and read. You know, The Great Cryptogram, that book I went over a few months ago? It's like a thousand pages, y'all. Um, but yeah, he does some obvious facts like Shakespeare didn't use his hometown Stratford once, but mentions St. Albans 23 times, which is Lord Bacon's house, you know, and city, I mean. And even Helen Keller and Mark Twain both shared their um, skepticism of Shakespeare's authorship. Um, he even shows a uh, cipher in The Tempest that I didn't even know about, and in King Lear. So those are kind of interesting if you want to take a look at that. Um, if we take a look at this, Elizabeth Wells Gallup made this book, The Bilateral Cipher Sir Francis Bacon Discovered in his works and deciphered. And so what they notice specifically is um, one way to hide a cipher is, to, is by the font itself. So you see this capital A is different from this capital A. So in the cipher, this A would uh, be considered one symbol and this would be a completely different symbol. So the only two symbols would be those. So for something like this, you would have to like literally look at each font and see what's different and then do the ABA um, Morse code. And then you can see, you know, the cipher itself. So for instance, in, um, in this, Trollis and Cressida, this whole prologue is in italics. So she went ahead and did every single letter and saw the differences in them. And she found this cipher. Francis, St. Album, descended from the mighty heroes of Troy, loving and revering those noble ancestors, hid in his writings Homer's Iliads and Odyssey in cipher, with the Aeneid of the noble Virg Virgil, prince of Latin poets, inscribing the letters to Elizabeth R. Now, you can say it's kind of... How the heck could entire sentences like that be made up? Like, this is this is the cipher itself. There's proof. So, I mean, there, there's something going on. So, it's not only in the Shakespeare plays. It's in Bacon's works. Um, it's in other works as well. So, there, there's just something going on, you know. And it's, it's not to be scoffed at. I found this really cool artist, Baczynski. Um, just really super cool and dark. But it's like eye candy. So... Yeah, if y'all are bored, take a look at his stuff. It's definitely not what you'd expect. Um, but yeah, as far as this, uh, Shakespeare is, is Shakespeare dead? This is a highly recommended essay you need to read, okay? And we, we did Francis Bacon write Shakespeare where work? No one knows. We cannot say we know a thing when that thing has not been proven. No is too strong a word. And he used to say, like, I... I believed Bacon wrote Shakespeare, whereas I knew Shakespeare himself did not. Okay, that's that's one of the main ideas, takeaways from this essay. And 
you know, he's funny. He's not just all serious and stuff like I am. So it's kind of interesting to read in that sarcastic way, too. Um, let's see. I think that's it for now, y'all. Because, you know, you know that you're the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. And don't, don't be like King Richard II. I wasted time, and now doth time waste me. I know we're all bored. I know we're anxious. I know we just don't know what to do. Even when we find an answer, we don't know what to do. It's like I found a lot of answers on my years of study. But what do you do? All you can do is know it. What do you do after you know it? It, it changes you on the inside. So, And hopefully it'll change you on the outside with your actions and how you treat other people. And, and just zoom out and see the bigger picture. Okay? Well, take it easy.